Do you ever feel like you never have enough money to buy every single knife you want to check out? That's me. I see designs all the time, and then I look at my poor wallet and have to make the tough choices. But today is not, in fact, one of those days because I scrimped and saved, and I was ready because we have in our hands the soon-to-be-released Devo Fireball a collaboration between Stasa23 and Devo Knives that I've been waiting for since the concept phase earlier this year. And not just a few people are saying that it could be a knife of the year candidate, but I don't throw those words around. I don't make those claims needlessly. So we're going to go ahead and check it out. We're going to find out, did they do it again? Did they come up with a second knife of the year candidate within the span of a month? Let's go. Hey, how's it going, everybody? If you're new here, welcome in. And if you've been here before, you know what to do. Go ahead and caress that like button, take it out to a nice steak dinner, and let it know that Roll Shambo sent it your way. Guys, I'm stoked because I've been waiting for this release from Devo for quite a while. And I know what you're thinking. How did you get it early? They released on the 17th at 1 p.m. So what, did they send you a promotional version or something? No, no, I was one of the lucky few who was allowed to purchase this early. And I'm really grateful because I got to see this as a concept early on as a drawing and then later have it teased and now it's here. I've been waiting all year for this, guys. I saw this around the same time that I saw the concept for the tall boy, which if you guys have followed me on social media, chances are you've seen me do a lot of videos on the tall boy. And this one I'm equally excited for because it's a collaboration between Devo Knives, which is Colin and Lefty and Stasa 23 who is a true pillar of the knife community. And I'm going to get into that a bit later. But before we do story time, I want to talk about the Fireball, a knife that I have failed to keep out of my pocket since it came in about five days ago. And it's really, really good. But let's go ahead and put this stuff away and get into the detail. The Fireball is a beautiful knife. These are going to be around $199 if you you are not smart and if you don't use the channel discount code my discount code will of course be in the description down below if you can't make it that far it's rsb10 there you go 199 dollar knife is now 180 dollar knife and for your hard-earned 180 dollars devo really really is providing the goods here we've got a knife that is seven and a quarter inches overall. So it's not what some people would consider to be full size, but it feels like a full size knife. The blade is hollow ground. It's a satin finish with this bi-directional satin. We've got a swedge up here at the top, which keeps things nice and thin and slicey. The jimping extends nearly the length of the flat on the blade, which is perfect. It means you can choose your own story. You know, whether you got gorilla hands or whether you just have normal size hands, your thumb's going to fit exactly where you want it. And you're going to have plenty of grip. It's decently deep, but it's not so toothy that it's going to be taking chunks of skin off your thumb. Every time you go to grip it, it has a tiny bit of belly, but it's also kind of like a reverse tanto at the same time. I know some people are going to have an issue with that term because it's a made up blade shape by cold steel. But honestly, that's just kind of how I feel. It's kind of a sheep's foot reverse tonto and that's the best way that i know how to describe it the edge gets nice and slicey here behind that edge bevel and so it's going to move through materials very nicely the blade itself is s90v and kubi has been sending out batch hrc test results and when they sent them to devo knives what did they come back with 62 62 on s90v is insanity listen most people are super happy with the wear resistance they get on s90v at 59 and the difference between wear resistance at 59 and 62 is staggering to say the least so of course they're saying well you know it could be 60 to 62 because there are some variances between knife to knife but most of the time the batches are going to be pretty much the same so i would say 60 to 62 on the fireball is awesome. The handle scales are going to have some options, but they're all going to have this black titanium 
backstrap. They're calling it a backstrap. It's a backspacer. It's kind of like an integral backspacer. It's nice because it's not just a piece that's going between the scales. It's a piece that goes over the scales. And lefties, I know you're out there saying, why me? Well, the good news is, is that Devo Knives is, of course, thinking about you. If you leave a note in your order that you'd like a left-handed backstrap, they will provide one. So yes, lefties, this is equally ambidextrous for you as well. They'll just flip that on there. And you can, of course, put the clip on the other side. Everybody's happy. On the handle scales themselves, this specific version is the camo carbon fiber. Now you can, of course, get it in the black pearl camo carbon fiber. You could also get it in the electric blue. I had some issues figuring out which scales I wanted because I like the black pearl on the tall boy, but I also like a little bit of color on my knives. For some reason, I just like having color on the knives. I think it really makes them stand out. Something that's unique about camo carbon fiber is because they're cutting it from different places in the block where they get these scales from, no two scales are ever the same. And when you look at this, you might actually think that this looks like more like, well, watermelon sugar camo carbon fiber because you can't really see any blue. But on this one specifically, you go right there. Yeah, there's a little bit of blue. And I've got to say, I do kind of wish that my specific one came with a bit more blue because that's one of the colors that I really appreciate in an 80s camo carbon. But that's the fun of it all. You never know what you're going to get. They just say, well, it could have these three or four colors have fun um, the other options are the electric blue which looks stunning but for me i'm a huge fan of the satin finish that they've been doing on these and the oem is kubi by the way and kubi's satin finish is really good they've upped their game their production has gotten excellent a lot of it has to do with the fact that they do t8 hardware all the way around nobody has to fight for that that's fantastic look at that t8 hardware there T8 hardware there, T8 hardware there, single-sided captive pivot, which is kind of this triangle shape. Yeah, I like that too. Now, there is one deployment option and one option only, so you know it's got to be a game changer. It is, of course, the deployment hole. And if you're going to have a single option for deployment, I do actually prefer that that is a deployment hole. I am warming up to thumb studs as the year goes on, but I'll say this. The beauty of a deployment hole is that when you go to put this in, say, like a guided sharpener, which a lot of enthusiasts have these days, you don't have to worry about a thumb stud getting in the way. And that's kind of nice. It's just one of those little bit of extra things, you know? Ergos in the hand are good. I am getting, of course, a full four finger grip, no issue whatsoever. Reverse grip, could you gas station this knife? Of course, of course you could, but I don't know why you would because this is a knife that's meant to get work done. And that should be no surprise because the main hand in the design was in fact Stasa 23, a man who does tons of cut tests on his channel. And this is the part where I want to get into a little bit of story time. No matter what, I absolutely had to get this knife because it's an opportunity for me to support a channel that has supported me. About two years ago, I was at 450 subscribers. I was putting out content. I was trying to make it the best I could, but I wasn't really starting to make any waves yet. And lo and behold, all of a sudden I had these subscribers piling in and I had no idea where they were coming from until someone reached out and said, Hey, Stasa 23 shouted you out on his channel. And it turns out that he had made one of his videos of uh, great channels to watch under 5,000 subscribers. But not only was I under 5,000 subscribers, I was under a thousand subscribers. And so to get a, a shout out from a bigger channel like him at the time was huge. And people started to give me a chance and that's cool. I had never spoken to Stasa. I'd never talked to him. I had no idea that he even knew I existed. And so it blew my mind because he was one of the channels that I used to watch before I had my own. And that was really cool. But it's not just me that he's helped along the way. He's actually helped out quite a lot of people. And I think that it's great that he's willing to do that. He's a pillar and a cornerstone of the community. And when you look to buy knives, the hard part that I find is, is that there's a lot of seedy people out there. There's people that make really amazing knives that have done really horrible things. And most of the time, the rest of us just close our eyes and say, I wish that they were someone else, but that's a really cool knife. But in this case, not only is it a really cool knife, but the person that designed it also happens to be a really good 
person. So it goes without saying that I do believe these are going to sell out. They didn't make a ton of them because they're not doing a pre-order. Uh, they had to buy a specific amount. They are hoping to do another batch. So if you miss out, don't worry. They will probably do another batch of these, but don't sleep on this. Set an alarm clock on your phone because if you don't and you miss it, I would say that there's a high likelihood that you might miss out entirely. This is the same price as the tall boy. The tall boy, which is one of my favorite knives this year, period, sold out in all retailers within 20 minutes of being released. Like all five retailers, gone, 20 minutes. That's it. And I'm pretty sure they had a higher stock than the Fireball does. So if you want one, be on devoknives.com at the drop. I believe that is 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're in Central Time, that'll be noon. If you're in Mountain Time, like me, that'll be 11. If you're in Pacific Time, that'll be 10 a.m. So don't tell me that I didn't warn you. I'm doing what I can to make sure that everyone has a fair shot. But guys, let me know what you think of the Devo Fireball. Stasa 23's first design with Devo knives. I think that this one is a killer. I think that you could do a hell of a lot worse for the money. And honestly, I'm really excited to see what people think on drop day. If you end up there, I would mean a lot if you use my discount code, which is RSB10. Good luck, guys. I'll see you out there. And if you want to watch some more awesome knife and EDC content, click on one of the videos that pops up next.